Hello, I'm Rick Barclay, and I'm with Piano Clubhouse, and today we are going to learn the song For All You've Done. It's a very popular praise song by Hillsong, so let's go ahead and get started. It's in the key of E. Key of E is this. E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E. Okay, it's in 4-4 time signature, which means four beats in each measure, and the quarter note gets to beat. Okay, so I'm going to play through the intro up through the pre-chorus for you. Um, it's a relatively good clip, around 130, 135, somewhere around there. And then we'll go back and talk about notes and chords. Okay? course at that point. Okay, so um, the intro is basically an E into an E sus. So E is down in the bass and G sharp, B, E, one, two, three, four, and, and then it goes to the sus, which means our G sharp goes up to the A, and then that lasts for an entire measure, and then we go back to the E, two, three, four, and it's on the end of four that this goes to the sus. Um, I did it uh, basically uh, four measures. On the recording that I'll play with later, it does eight measures. Okay, so I just kind of cut it in half for us for demo purposes. But it's the same thing every, every time, every two bar loop, if you will. It's going back and forth between that. So what I did on the, my left hand, you know, basically grabbed both notes and then I pulsated quarter notes in my thumb on the upper E. did some other eighth note type pulsating rhythm basically just kind of help fill up the um, the measure with some rhythm as opposed to just you know if we're just doing this by ourselves and also you know within a group it helps fill up and give momentum and rhythm and pulsating so that's just some little tricks that you can do as, as opposed to just playing block but if that's all you can do then bl playing block is fine okay uh, so the verse um, ease C sharp to B, and then does it again, and then up to a G sharp, now F sharp, E, F sharp, E, C, B. Okay, and let me stop there for a minute, let's talk about the rhythm. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and a. Uh. So that measure right there, one, two, and a. Uh. Holds on to it three four, okay, and then basically kind of does almost the same thing except for the end of the phrase leading into the pre-chorus a little bit different, but the E's C sharp to B. Here's where it's different. Okay, so those were G sharps, F sharp, E, back to the F sharp, E's, and then up to a G sharp leading into the pre-chorus. Okay, so chord-wise, so it's an E. Right there, it, go, it does go to the E sus, but because we're concentrating on the melody, you, I mean, we could add that A there if you wanted to, but um, I tend to focus more on the melodic aspect if we're playing melody. So I'll add the B. Now when we go up to the G sharp, the B still, E, and then G sharp melody, also the th third, if you will, of the chord. And then as I go down, let up on that E, because eventually we're going to do the E, but we keep the B. So one, two, and a, and then repeat that again. So at this point, again, last measure before we go to this pre-chorus I'm keeping the B but with my melodic movement so we got the full chord and then let up and then we're switching to a C sharp minor into the pre-chorus so I'm grabbing the C sharp E and G sharp okay so the pre-chorus going into that let me play that
Okay, so pre-chorus, back to that. It's so a G sharp, two, three, four, G sharp. So that was G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, and then A's. And then you hold on to that four and two and. On the and of two, you go down to the E. Next measure, A's. Down to the G sharp, hold on to that. And then and of four, it's an E. Back to the G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A, F sharp. Okay, so let me play that again and keep it flowing this time with rhythm. And I'll count the rhythm. So in the previous measure, one, two, three, and, and, two, three, four. One, two, and, four, and, two, and, four. One, two, and, and, four, and, two, three, four. And one, two, and, 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 two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. And then we're into the chorus. So there's pickups going into the chorus. Um, a lot of that in the pre-chorus is upbeat driven on the ands. And uh, so now let's go to the chords. So as I alluded to earlier, it's a C sharp minor seven, the seven being the B. If you don't want to do that, you can just do a C sharp minor. So C sharp, E, and G sharp. Two, three, four. So what I like to do right here is do thirds of E, G sharp, and then D sharp, F sharp, E, G sharp. So we go to an A at that point. So for and I'm going to my A early because it's holding into the next measure. And then I hit the downbeat with my left hand in the bass to get the A's. So we have.